hello what's up guys welcome back to the channel this is austin code cypher back again with another playlist on the channel so we are going to be talking about the jquery mobile this is a framework that will enable you create the mobile first web apps or websites so when you also go ahead and use the grid system you can create that for the desktops and by the way i guess it's even compatible on desktops you can use it on every platform so that's the beauty of the jquery mobile framework so if you're new to the channel please go ahead subscribe to the channel like the videos share them on different social medias so let's get started you shall go to jquerymobile.com that's where you're supposed to head jquerymobile.com as it's loading ha ah, that's it now this is the website as you see it's precise and concise there is less on the home page so you can first visit the demos and see what yeah you're going to be doing but also are you seeing where my cursor is rotating on so on the right hand side you can download this latest version if you are going to work offline but for this case first navigate to this download link That's where we are supposed to go so when you're on the download link or page you can go to this download builder where you customize what you want download select the checkboxes what you want to include but i'm advising you to download this zip file so to include the javascript css and images make sure you download this zip file for this tutorial i'm not going to be using them offline so I, even I already have these files on my PC, but for your case, download this zip file and extract it. That's it. Now for us, what we are going to be using, we are going to be using these content delivery network files. So these are hosted files by jQuery. You will include this in your head section. Make sure you will be connected to the internet because if you're not connected, these files won't work. Because if you are to look to the hyper reference, having this.com so it's hosted online by this content delivery network of jquery so that's what you have to include in your head file so let's go right here and create a file inside this folder new file and i'm going to save it i'm going to call it setup setup setup.com.html uh, sorry setup.html and save this so this is going to be our page now the beauty with sublime text you just have to type that and press enter and yeah they will give us the best structure of html5 so i'm just going to call this setup jquery mobile so in the head section this is where you're going to provide all the information about this web page all the files you want to include on the web page as i told you i'm not going to be using that downloaded files i'm going to be using the content delivery network hosted files which are these so i'm just going to copy this the way they are and include them in the head section I'm going to tap this so that they be aligned in the same lane so basically this is how you set up your jquery mobile before writing any other type of code this is how you're supposed to stage it so in case you download the, the zip file make sure you start with the jquery mini.css then oh i forgot to tell you this make sure you also go to jquery mobile for the cdn as you can see for the cdn we already have it it's included but for your case you have to go to jquery jquery.com so go to jquery.com make sure you visit jquery.com and download the latest version so the one you include in your file in case you are going to be yeah working online offline sorry but if you are working online and 
yeah, for users to visit your web website, they will be accessing the internet. So it's advisable to include this because even it will be easy for you to upgrade upgrade the version of the jQuery yeah, framework. So I advise you to use this because when you host your website, it will be on the internet. So yeah, make sure you include also the jQuery latest version if you're working offline. So for this case, this CDN has the jQuery already. So basically, this is how you set up your web page or website before doing any other stuff. So guys, if this tutorial was useful to you, please go ahead, subscribe to the channel Austin Code Cipher, like the videos, share them on different social medias, and I will see you in the next tutorials. So make sure you include this in the head section. Peace for now.